The purpose of this KB is to provide information on SFTC bulk API. This is applicable to Power Exchange for Salesforce.com 8.6.1.0.3 and 8.6.1.0.4 for the versions of Power Center 8.6.1, Hotfix 13, and Hotfix 14. And it is also applicable for all the Informatica 9.x versions. The agenda of this is to provide you more information on SFTC bulk API like what is the purpose of SFTC creating a simple mapping and workflow with SFTC target and how to enable the SFTC bulk API bulk API enables writing large amount of data to salesforce.com while generating a minimum number of API calls. In normal SFTC load, the max path size is set to 200 by default. But when using bulk API, each batch by default can hold 10,000 records and it makes a HTTP call instead of a SOAP request. In the designer, I'll show you how to import an SFTC target from salesforce.com. When you have to select the targets in the menu and select import from salesforce.com, you will see a pop-up where you need to provide the salesforce.com account username, password along with the token and verify the URL endpoint URL. Once you click on the connect button, you will see the list of all objects under the account. Select one of the table or object. Click on OK. Again, if you want to include any relational object, include that and click OK. This will create an SFTC target object. In the same way, you can create an SFTC source object too. Now I have already created a simple uh, mapping with flat file source and Salesforce target object. I'm going to go ahead and generate a workflow for this mapping. Make sure that you select the correct Salesforce ob connection verify the integration service and the session name and the workflow name click on the finish in the workflow manager to enable the bulk API option edit the session go to the mapping tab and select the target object verify the connection and enable the option use SFTC bulk API along with this so by default you won't see any options enabled so you have to make sure that you set the fields to null use SFTC error files and the success files which will help you in, uh, in creating a separate success file and error files and also the monitor bulk job until all batches process to monitor the bulk API jobs till they are completed click on apply and OK now save the session and start the workflow once the workflow run completes, you can see from the stats that it loaded three records and it rejected one record. Now go to the server where Power Center is installed and the default directory for writing the success file is Informatica Home Server InfoShade Target Files and the default directory for writing the error files is Informatica Home server infoshade 
bad files you can see from here that it created a csv file one for the success and one for the failure the success file will show the id success created and the error similarly the failure will also show you uh, the error message or the reason for the rejection these are few useful KBs and guide which gives more information on salesforce.com bulk API option. You can give the feedback on support videos at informatica.com or on our Twitter account at infasupport.